So my name is Kathy Jo, and um, I am one of about 36 Beads of Courage ambassadors that we have um, in the Heart Center. Beads of Courage is a physical representation of the journey um, that you go through in the hospital. We have a journal that the family fills out. They mark every day um, what that patient goes through that day, whether it be a blood draw or an x-ray or an EEG, echo, all that. Depending on what they went through for that week, you get a bead for that. Friday is the day that um, we go around to all the patients that are enrolled in the program and they get their beads for that week. The, the little people that, that get so excited about um, the beads is what brings a smile to my face. <laughs> to date, we have enrolled um, 223 children in the Beads of Courage program of the Heart Center. Um, and we've given out um, a record number of over 46,000 beads. You form such a relationship with the patients and their families that um, are receiving the beads. Um, you see smiles and excitement and you know, it's an anticipation. You know, those patients that have been in the hospital for a long period of time, it's that anticipation that someone is coming on Friday to give me more beads. It gives you a conversation starter, you know, to, to talk with those, you know, um, patients and their families about, you know, what an accomplishment it is to get those beads and, you know, to, to have those beads, you know, shown that, you know, that that's something that they're going through and so it's pretty special. Awesome. So hopefully we, you won't jinx us here. When we first learned about Beads of Courage, it was actually this last summer. Uh, Ian was admitted to the hospital back in July of 16 to have a procedure done called a pot shunt. And the intention of the pot shunt was to stave off the need for a lung transplant. Okay. Unfortunately, it didn't work. But when we were here, right before the pot shunt, um, one of the nurses came in, approached us, and said, would you like to do Beads of Courage? And Ian looked at her like, what are you talking about? Why would I possibly want to do Beads of Courage? Remember that? <laughs> and I said, of course he wants to do Beads of Courage. I had no idea what it was. Um, and so we, um, we filled out the forms and because we were allowed to effectively go back in time up to that point, you know, he's been treated for pulmonary hypertension since the age of five. So if you look at the number of clinic visits, if you look at the number of echocardiograms that he's had, if you consider the number of dressing changes he's had over the course of 10 years, I mean, the, the, the count was enormous. The Beads of Courage have actually become a very, very nice um, weekly activity, right? Where Ian can track the different procedures that he's had performed. Um, it's, 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 a, it's a way of memorializing those. And I, I mean, I think it's a beautiful gesture to the kids here at the hospital. It's really, I mean, it, it, it's really kind of the highlight at the end of the week. It's an amazing group, obviously, to fund something like the Beads of Courage here, uh, here at the hospital. The idea that they can hold that loved one's courage in their hands, you know, the, the beads that they get to hold in their hands that show the courage that their loved one went through while they were in the hospital, I think that just speaks volumes, I really do. The program costs um, anywhere between eight and ten thousand dollars a year. It depends. I mean, you know, we've only been doing the program for about a year and maybe three or four months, but um, in that time, um, it's been about you know eight to ten thousand dollars that it costs to sustain. We could not have the Beads of Courage program in the Heart Center without Eden's Army and their continued um, donation to the Heart Center. We're so thankful. We are so thankful for them. Thank you.